So the first question is, what is metacognitive awareness? Um, and it's we've specially chosen, we specially developed this as sort of our, um, as our mantra that it's the, the Rodin's thinker, right? It's sort of, I used that at the time as sort of the, as the core of this. It's thinking about how you think, it's learning about how you learn, it's understanding who you are as a learning. It's that executive function processes, which we, de which we designate as, these are the core components. Goal setting, organizing and prioritizing, cognitive flexibility, thinking flexibly, accessing working memory, meaning juggling information in your mind, uh, being able to shift from big ideas to details in your head, and then self-monitoring and checking. All of those are the keys. And if you don't have, if those processes are not, are not efficient, then that funnel gets clogged. So we, um, so we need to be able to sort of take, to keep that funnel smooth, unclogged, and the information processing through smoothly. Um, and that's our goal. Uh, and the foundation for this is the metacognitive awareness. So metacognitive awareness and executive function uh, need to sort of keep fluent and need to, if we build those, then what we do is we promote effort. Students will persist. Think of yourselves. You said 100% of you said you feel stuck. Well, if you know how to get unstuck, then you're going to persist. If you don't know how to get unstuck, you're going to give up, right? And that means your attention is going to waver too. Like, I can do this. Um, whereas if you can focus and you're not feeling so stuck and you're not feeling so stressed, then you're going to be more persistent. And that's the emotional regulation piece. As you start to feel unstuck because you have the executive function process and you're aware of how you learn and what your strengths and weaknesses are, your anxiety is going to go down and your stress level is going to, is going to go down. So how do we help students to keep that funnel unclogged, which is what we want to do? So in each of these uh, executive function areas, um, we, help, we can help students to self-reflect the metacognitive awareness. Like in goal setting, how do I set good doable goals? What's manageable? And we have some strategy called can-do goals that we, um, we talked about previously and that we'll talk about in the Summer Summit. And that, um, that strategies that are a part of SMARTS in terms of teaching is organization. How do I organize my time and my ideas? prioritizing, how do I figure out what's most important for my reading and writing? Um, and these are obviously just examples. I mean, the issues are getting kids to think about how they think and to think about why they're having trouble. Cognitive flexibility, what is another way I can solve this math problem? I need to think differently. Um, working memory, how do I remember all of these details and quizzes and tests? And self-monitoring, how do I find my mistakes when I check my work? Um, so these are the core uh, the extra function processes. You want to teach kids to ask these questions, to understand how they learn, how, to ask these questions of themselves. How do I learn? How do I think? How do my strengths and weaknesses affect my learning? And what strategies work best for me? Um, and if you can teach these explicitly, your students and, and become self-reflective, you will be empowering them, as I said, for learning for life.